Hello, and welcome to another session of my Component Studio FAQ. I'm Andrew Voigt, and today I'm going to show you how to export your Component Studio designs into Tabletop Simulator. Assuming your design is already created, go to the Designs page. On the right-hand side of your design, press the down arrow to open this menu and choose Generate a Cache for Tabletop Simulator. Choose the component type, whether you're creating a deck or a set of individual images, and select Generate. When done, Component Studio will send you a notification that appears up in the right-hand corner, as well as send you an email. You can also find the cache in the Images and Icons section. You'll see a new entry that's the design name, Character Cards version 6.1, followed by a TTS and a date. Go ahead and open it up to see what the file looks like. Now you'll want to go to Tabletop Simulator. With Tabletop Simulator open, go ahead and create a new game. Choose Single Player, and go ahead and close the Games menu. We want to add our custom objects to the board, so open the Objects tab, and choose Components. Find the Custom option, and then choose your component type. We'll be uploading a deck of cards. Now, we're going to need some information from our component studio file. We're going to need the URL that contains the faces of our cards, and the URL that contains the backs of the cards. So return to component studio, and copy the URL of the face, and paste it in the face section. In my case, every card has a unique back, so I'm going to enable this option, and I'm going to do the same with the back URL. I'll go ahead and copy it from Component Studio and paste it to the back field in Tabletop Simulator. Because of the way Component Studio formats this file, we can leave the width at 10 and the height at 7. Now we'll adjust this slider for the number of cards we have in our deck. In this case, it'll be 8. The cards I designed for this deck are oriented sideways, so I'm going to enable that checkbox then choose whether or not you want the backs of your cards hidden. Choose Import. How long it takes to render will depend on the size of your file. When it's ready, you'll see your deck of cards appear in the center of the table. As we can see here, we have a stack of 8 cards. And we can flip them over to see the other side. This side has a special ability listed, well, this side does not. Bringing your designs from Component Studio to Tabletop Simulator is a straightforward process, and it's a great resource for testing and iterating your designs, because you can make instant edits and iterate very rapidly. Thank you for watching my FAQ. I'm Andrew Voigt with Component Studio, helping you to make games to be proud of.